I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. With the problems we've had with the COVID virus, it just emphasizes how much we need the Internet to do business. And more and more business is being done in both the horse and the cattle industry and related industries over the Internet. So if you don't have a really good Internet presence and a good place to house your website or to advertise your website, go to agsearch.us. You can get it on there. be a great place for you, agsearch.us. That's eggsearch.us. Catherine Silva is a New Mexico horsewoman that's been one of the presenters at the Best Horse Practices Summit talking about the horse's brain. It's nothing like ours, is it? No, and that was something I learned last year at the first Best Horse Practices Summit, you know, and, and uh, you know, Dr. Stephen Peters talking about the horse brain. Horses don't have a frontal cortex, and I had not realized that. I mean, I had known some of how horses think and don't think just of being around them all my life. But horses don't, uh, you know, horses don't sit in their pens, you know, trying to figure out how to annoy their humans. I mean, most horses really do try to please and, and, and do the right thing. And then, you know, once you get them to where they want to do the right thing, that you know, you're, you're halfway there or more than halfway there. Uh, but no, horses don't really, you know, they don't really have that capacity that we have to analyze and ruminate and, 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 and plan ahead and, and things like that. I mean, they just don't do that. They're just like very much in the moment. And so, you know, that is where I think horses are my greatest teachers because that would really be good for a lot of people who are around horses if, if they're, you know, they, they worry less about what might happen in the future or beat themselves up over what happened at some point in the past. But no, you just got to be right there with your horse in your little bubble of the moment, and, and that's all you can do. New Mexico horsewoman Catherine Silva, thanks for joining us for the Horseman's Corner. Great to have you along. May God bless. You can come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.